Hi guys, my name is Jay Gannon. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I help you to maximize your LinkedIn content. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through 10 ways to optimize your LinkedIn content. Don't worry, just enjoy the video because you can download my content checklist in the description box, which will include those 10 points for you guys. So sit back and enjoy learning how to optimize your content. On my YouTube channel by now, hopefully you've come across my videos on how to outline your content themes, how to have more ideas for content, and also hopefully you've watched my exact system of creating content. Now you've got ideas for content, but how do we optimize those pieces of content to get more reach and to have more people landing on our profile from our content marketing. My first tip on how to optimize your content is to post content at optimal times. LinkedIn's algorithm takes into account early engagement. So essentially, when you upload your content onto LinkedIn, LinkedIn will show your content to a small sample of people to gauge the quality of the content. If those people do engage with your content, LinkedIn will then promote the content and show it to more people. So if you're posting content when most of your audience is online, this gives you a better chance of getting early engagement. As LinkedIn historically has been a professional platform, best times to post typically do follow the working day. Historically, my content has always performed best before 9am and if I want to post in the evening, I'll post it just after 5pm as well. Typically, I go for 8.45am and if I'm going to post after 5, about 10 past 5 as well. Great backup times in the UK are also about 11am and also lunch times makes a lot of sense. LinkedIn is growing as a content platform, but typically it is people who are in jobs or looking for work who do use the platform. So it makes sense that the platform follows these sort of hours. The best thing to do, and I would always suggest this, is to actually try for yourself. So potentially this week, engage how the engagement differs. Alternatively, you can use the great tool Shield Analytics, and I'd recommend that you just use their free 10 day trial first to actually see how your content historically has performed. Here you can actually see the exact time that you posted content, which is something you can't do right now on LinkedIn after you've hit post. You have to have a data-driven content strategy. And lots of people ask me, what is the optimal time to post on LinkedIn? Typically, like I said, it's mornings for me, maybe lunchtime as a backup and in the evenings just after five. However, this will vary across industries and it will really depend on your target audience. For you, your optimal time to post is when most people are online and able to see your content. Also keep in mind that if you are posting content during the working day like videos, you have to subtitle your content because a staggering 80% of people watch video content on LinkedIn without the sound. My next tip on how to optimize your LinkedIn content is to grab attention in the first line of the copy. When we post different bits of content onto LinkedIn, so images, text, videos, and carousels, you have varying levels of space available for us. As a content creator, you need to think about capturing people's attention because there's so much content in the feed, why should they stop and look at your content? So make the most of this space and really grab the attention in the first lines. Different ways to do this is to use emojis to add some color, maybe post the first line as a title, so use capital letters. You could ask a question to provoke their thoughts. There's so many ways to kind of pique someone's interest and to encourage them to hit see more. And when they do click see more, that's a signal to LinkedIn that someone's interested in your post. And as we know from LinkedIn's latest algorithm change, dwell time, which is how long someone stays in your content for, is one of the ways that LinkedIn now gauges the quality of content. So you wanna capture people's attention and keep them on your content. So my third way on how to optimize your content is tied into capturing attention, and that is to say your main message early on. An extension of that point is that you really wanna have your takeaway message early on, so the majority of people who land on your posts can have that takeaway message and gain value from your content. You really do have a split second to capture someone's attention and also if your content's not concise and it's too long people are just going to click off. So what I like to do is write a first draft of my copy, I like to come back to it and really ask myself what is the main message I'm trying to convey. Then I'll try and move this to the start of the copy to make sure that even passive scrollers can still get a takeaway message from my content. It's a bit extreme but be like Tim Ferriss and think about elimination. If you had to keep just one paragraph of your post what would that be? That right there is your main message and make sure that main message is early on in your content. And again, think about the space you have available to you so you can really format your post and optimize it for LinkedIn. My fourth tip on how to optimize your content is to format the space available. When you post content across LinkedIn, you actually have varying levels of space available. For example, with text posts, you have five lines of spacing, but in contrast, when you upload an image, a video or a carousel, you only have three lines of spacing. And you might notice the character limits are different on computer compared to mobile. Tied into my previous points, this is why it's so important to capture attention and to include your main message early. My fifth tip on how to optimize your content is to tag and mention any businesses or any people involved in your content. So this is useful across all social media and I'd really get into the habit of using the features available to us. So if you mention a person or you mention a business in a post, be sure to tag them. This is useful for so many reasons. On LinkedIn, if you do tag somebody, they'll get a notification that they're mentioned in that post and they'll be much more likely to engage, which means your content will be seen in the feeds of their audience. Now, hopefully this 
this tip is a no brainer. My sixth way on how to optimize your LinkedIn content is to provide value in your content. All of your posts should serve your audience, whether that's to educate them, to inspire them, or to entertain them. So again, once you've wrote your first draft of your post and you're considering these tips, consider your audience. Yes, you can document your journey and you can talk about your own experiences, but try to make your post about your audience and what they can take from it instead of just talking about yourself. Once you get into the habit of doing this, you'll definitely find that your engagement in your content increases because as a content creator, you're providing value to your audience. People will start to look out for the rest of your content. My seventh tip on how to optimize your LinkedIn content is to use three hashtags. So LinkedIn actually released a PDF titled their best practices for using hashtags. I'll include the link to that in the description box as well as all the other resources that I mentioned in this video. It might sound counterintuitive to only use three hashtags because if you do use more than three, your content does rank in those hashtag feeds. However, LinkedIn is more of a professional platform. Even now it's becoming more of a content platform and it's best to use three hashtags at the end of your content. Don't do what people do on Twitter, which is a lot different, where someone might say, hi guys, welcome to my hashtag video. I'm gonna talk about hashtag marketing. That's how people use Twitter, but it stands out on LinkedIn. Keep your hashtags at the end of the posts to keep your content looking professional. My next tip on how to optimize your LinkedIn content is to include a call to action. A call to action or a CTA is when you're telling your audience to do something. If somebody's got to the end of your text post, they read all the way to the end, or they've got to the end of your video and they've watched you for 60 seconds, now what should they do? You don't want to leave your audience in a limbo not knowing what to do next, particularly when someone outside of your audience comes across your content, they need to know where to go next. Examples of a CTA might be to encourage someone to share their opinion in the comment section and as we know, if you get comments on your content, it will show that content to that person's audience. Alternatively, you could direct people to learn more, so I personally like to think about going above and beyond. So if someone's enjoyed your post and it was an idea or a quote you got from a podcast, why not have the podcast link to hand and offer that to them? If they go on to get value from that resource, they will positively associate that you were the person who told them about the information. Or you could direct people to your personal blog, or if you're a business, you could mention that you have a website. Or if your main goal was to just to meet people and to learn from other people, you could just encourage people as a CTA to get in contact with you if they enjoyed your post. This leads into my next tip, which I like to call my above and beyond strategy. The reason I love watching YouTube is because YouTube creators really go above and beyond to their audiences. Not only will they just talk about something that they think people should do and they recommend something, they usually will show a tutorial and they'll also include resources in the description box like I've done in this video to help people with that bit further. As a content creator, if you can provide additional resources for people, you're really going to help them to get results and that's how you can turn a casual viewer into a fan of your content. In this video on the screen right now, I walk you through my exact system for creating content and in that video, I'll show you how to use Notion's Web Clipper tool to easily store or the links to articles, YouTube videos, and other resources that you come across online, which is great to really help your audience and to fulfill that above and beyond principle. My 10th tip on how to optimize your LinkedIn content is to reply to people in the first two hours of your post going out. The LinkedIn algorithm gauges early engagement. So when you hit post, your content is shown to a small audience of people to gauge how they're liking the content. If it goes down well, LinkedIn will show your content to more people. Therefore, it's really important in the first couple of hours of your content going out to reply to anyone who has left a comment on your content. Besides, you should be doing this anyway because that person could have done anything in this moment and they chose to stop and to engage on your content. It's also great to reply to comments with questions to really spark up a conversation. It's critical to hear from your audience the content that they're enjoying. And all of the secrets really do lie in asking them what it is they want to see from you and what other content you could create that would help them. Personally, I like to try to reply to every comment on my content, mainly because I value people's time, but also you can see this as touch points, essentially signaling to LinkedIn that this content is still active and that people are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it's been useful for you guys to find out my 10 ways to optimize your LinkedIn content. Now jump into the description box and download my content checklist, which you can save to your computer and just open it up every single time you go to create content on LinkedIn. Soon that will become a habit and I promise you if you're optimizing your post over a long period of time you're definitely going to see improved engagement and improved results from your LinkedIn content marketing. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel please hit subscribe, connect with me on LinkedIn and I would love to answer any of your questions in the comment section. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.